so the risk factors mainly include uh, you know early onset of your sexual debut so in girls we usually tell them that it should be after 18 after 21 but there are many countries across the world and even in india we have uh, in some states we have like uh, the statistics in mizoram and in places like dibrugarh all these places you'd see the marriages happen really early so an early sexual debut having multiple sexual partners um being exposed to multiple sexual partners because there are some women who are in uh, are sex workers uh, then it can also it has also been associated with you know the taking of oc pills but that has really not been understood why and also some women who have multiple births and um uh, because you know they say that during pregnancy your immuno uh, immunity uh, you become immuno compromised your immunity goes down so that can be one of the causes and in general all those women who are immuno compromised either because of you know they've been living with hiv or uh, they have autoimmune disease they've had an organ transplant so they can, they're taking drugs to like sort of you know tamper down the immunity all these situations will lead to um, you know uh, a predisposition towards cervical cancer and then we have the other category where you know there's been a family history of cancers uh, cervical cancer breast cancer ovarian cancer or uh, it was back in the 70s they used to use something which is known as des or diethyl still bestrol and that was used to prevent miscarriages but like a lot of women who were born uh, or who were you know uh, in the reproductive age group around that time and have used that drug they are more predisposed to cervical cancer than um, the women today because we don't use that drug much today and generally you know having a diet which is not very rich in fruits and vegetables can predispose you and there's also a factor which prevents cervical cancer that is those women who use iud's or intrauterine contraceptive devices uh there's supposed there's supposed to be some connection against not being studied well but um, it protects you from cervical cancer so in a nutshell these would be the reasons why uh you know a woman would be more predisposed uh, as compared to a woman who's had a monogamous relationship who's not had so many uh, sexual partners etc never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon